Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So today we are going to do the next video of our geography series. जो हमारी geography series चल रही है उसके next video को आज हम लोग करने वाले हैं. And today we are going to do the Indian vegetation. Indian vegetation आज हम लोग करने वाले हैं. We have already done different topics, so please do watch them. And please do keep making notes. मैं हमेशा बोलता हूँ कि notes बनाते रहिए. Because the क्योंकि इतने सारे facts और concepts के साथ हम लोग deal कर रहे हैं. If you will make notes of every topic, it will be very helpful to you to revise them. Because there are so many facts, there are so many concepts. So it will be not easy to keep in mind every time for long. Up just by watching the videos. So just watch the videos, keep making notes, and keep revising those notes. Once you keep revising those notes, you will get familiarized with the topics you get familiarized with the concepts we get familiarized with the facts and that is helpful to you in writing answers or marking your answers in the exam because you will be more uh, knowing the facts uh, in detailed way because you have been keeping keep, keep kept revising so that will be helpful to you so today we are going to do indian vegetation <coughs> so here we will do different types of vegetations found in india be it tropical level green semi level green deciduous moist deciduous thorny vegetation mountain vegetation so we will discuss all the types of vegetation so here i have drawn two maps to let you know some things so first of all in the first map we will discuss the rainfall patterns and in the second map as per the rainfall patterns we will discuss the vegetation because vegetation in india is highly uh, dependent on the uh, highly related to the rainfall patterns you will see these regions you will find how much centimeter of rainfall around 25 centimeter everything is written in 25 again when you go a bit broader this region you will found around 50 centimeter of rainfall in this region okay <coughs> here you will find around 200 centimeter of rainfall this line will show around 100 centimeter of rainfall and again here you will find 50 centimeter of rainfall fifty centimeter just uh, the leeward sides of western ghats side of zone of the western ghats and then this line you will find 100 centimeters of rainfall and in this region you will find more than 200 centimeter of rainfall again so we will see the vegetations as per it only so in this region you will find zero facts here this region you will find zero facts because the rainfall is very low that is around 25 centimeter we can you can relate both the maps then after this region here you will find thorny vegetations I am marking this type for thorny vegetation. This region you will find thorny vegetation. In thorny vegetation, you will find the rainfall is around 50 to centimeter, 25 to 50 centimeter. Here you will also find thorny vegetation. Also, you can see here we also have 50 centimeter rainfall. So this is also thorny vegetation only. Okay. Then in the mountainous region, you will find in this region you will find the mountain vegetation. This region and the mountainous regions of this area. Okay. This is mountainous vegetation. Mountain vegetation. Some areas of this region. So this is also mountain vegetation. Okay. Now, as here is high rainfall, so you will find semi evergreen vegetation in this region. In the region, you will find semi evergreen and these regions you will find tropical evergreen tropical evergreen you will find tropical evergreen in these regions and in the rain uh, rainward sides of western ghat in the uh, rain shadow zones you will find uh, dry uh, forests but in rainward zones you will find tropical evergreen Trop tropical evergreen i hope everything is visible now let's move to the uh, indian landmass the middle of the indian landmass so in these regions you will generally find this region is moist deciduous forest moist deci 
days because the rainfall you can say in the, this region is 100 cm or above 100 cm plus rainfall and in the remaining regions these regions you will find dry deciduous forest dry deciduous because the rainfall here is around 50 to 100 cm you can see this line is of 50 cm, this line is of 100 cm. In between, you will find the rainfall of 50 to 100 cm. So you will find dry deciduous, dry deciduous vegetation. So, as you are able to see how through connecting the maps of rainfall and vegetation, you can find the pattern. That is why I made two maps here. So that you can find this pattern that Indian vegetation is highly dependent on the rainfall only. And the highest percentage of forest in India is of moist deciduous forest. Keep it in mind, okay? highest percentage is of moist deciduous. There will be options of both moist deciduous and dry deciduous and many times students confuse but the highest percentage is of moist deciduous. Now we will see some of the famous trees because many times you basically ask the examples of trees we will not go in that much detail because uh, it is not necessary. Just we will go on trees which generally you basically ask. Other things you all know that rainfall pattern you have understand and the trees. Generally these two things which generally you basically in other exams uh, focus on and thirdly regions also but in the map you are able to understand the regions also in which regions which type of forests are found so first of all we will discuss tropical evergreen forest tropical tropical evergreen so in tropical evergreen the famous trees which you can found is rosewood mahogany Ebony, Annie, etc. Next, move to semi evergreen forests. In semi evergreen, you will able to find white cedar. White Cedar, you will able to find Champa, Indian Chestnut, Cal, etc. So these are the forest, uh, these are the vegetation you can find in uh, semi American. Now let's move to Moist Residues. But three Moist Residues. In moist deciduous, the common trees you can find which are sal, teak, sesam, amla, amla, sandalwood, etc. Then number four, we will discuss about thorny vegetation. In thorny vegetations, you can find trees such as khair, ijri, khedri, babul, akasya. In some thorny vegetations, you can find neem also because they uh, are water conserving elements, so they can grow in less water also. So, these are the some of the important examples of thorny vegetation. And now it comes to dry deciduous. So there is not such a uh, unique classification of dry deciduous. In dry deciduous, you will able to find the trees of both moist deciduous also. You can able to find salt trees can see some in a dry deciduous also. And you will find the trees of khair, neem, babul, acacia in dry deciduous also. So dry deciduous is just a transition between thorny vegetation to moist vegetation. So you will find the both types of plants here it, because it is transition here we are transitioning from the dry areas to water areas so here both the types of plants can be found sal is also found and khair is also found so i hope you are able to understand what dry deciduous forests are okay as you can map also see in, the, in this area we are showing the dry forest and this area is showing moist forest so here we are having transition from dry to moist okay so i hope you are able to understand this now let's move to Mountain vegetation. Mountain vegetation. So I am making a diagram to make 
understand you easily. This is Western Himalayas, this region, and towards the eastern cone, you will find Eastern Himalayas. And this is divided as per height, this is 4000 meter. First point is of 500 meter, it is 500 meter. This is 1000 meter. It is 2000 meter. This is not 100,000. This is 3000 meter. And the topmost is 4000 meter. So here we will try to discuss the trees. At the lower ends, at the foothills of Himalayas, that is below 500 meters, you will able to find moist deciduous forest. Moist deciduous forest. But as you go above, in western side, from 500 to 1000 meter, you will find pine forest. Pine forest. And in eastern side, you will find tropical broadleaf forest. Tropical broad leaf tropical broad, broad, broad leaf so for example of tropical broad leaf is oak and pine forest we all know that pine trees and as we move above from 1000 to 2000 meter you will find west temperate forest in both the regions wet temperate not west temperate sorry wet temperate wet temperate forest so example of these forests are pine, spruce, etc. And as you go above, you will find silver fir that is between 2000 to 3000. The examples of this silver fir are also known as juniper forest. Okay, keep it in mind. And this region only, around uh, 2000 meters region, you will also find devadar and walnut in western side. Devdar trees and walnut trees in western side and generally these are found in Kashmir Himalayas. Kashmir Himalayas and above 3000 meter you will find alpine grasslands. Alpine grasslands. For example, and these alpine grasslands are also known as marg in western side, marg. For example, in Kashmir you can find gulmarg. Yeah. So, I hope you understand the division of uh, or important trees or important vegetation of mountain, mountainous forest, mountain vegetation. So, this was all about mountain vegetation. Now, we will move to western parts because they also show a very unique types of vegetation so we should discuss it. Western Ghats. So you will find that Western Ghats lets you let me make you understand by this map. Divide it into three parts. First, second and third as per height. This is around 500 meters and this is around 1000 meters. So, below 500 meters, you will find moist evergreen forest. This is at the foothills. Always keep in mind, at the foothills of these mountains, you will find moist deciduous forest. Moist deciduous forest. As you go above, here from 500 to 1000 meter in Western Ghats, you will find evergreen forest. And over 100,000 meters, sorry, not 100, over 1,000 meters, you will find wet temperate forest. Wet temperate forest. And at this range, that is near this 1,000 meter range only, you will find a very unique type of forest which are known as solars. Solars forest, solar forest, which we can generally found in Western Ghats only. So the unique characteristics of this solar forest is that it is stunted temperate forest stunted temperate forest 
it is found as patches surrounded by rolling grasslands found as found as patches surrounding surrounded by surrounded by rolling grasslands and some of the common exam common examples include mongolia chinchona and laurels and this laurels was recently in news uh, some lo indian laurel tree which is also found in andhra pradesh also so this laurel tree keep the water stored under their bark so this tree hai so iske is bark ke andar you will find the water stored so whenever you make a cut or something you will find water coming out so this was found in papikonda national park in andhra and a lot of videos were highlighted so you should keep it in mind and the konda reddy tribes and generally konda reddy tribes conserve these forests konda reddy tribes these tribes are pvtgs okay keep it in mind so this was in news recently that is why i have mentioned here and similar types of forest in uh, similar forest such as solas only the similar forest to solas are also found in mahadev and maikal hills of satpura also okay also found in similar forests also found in which are similar to sora solas in mahadev and maikal ranges of or you can say maikal hills of satpura so keep it in mind only but sola is a unique forest but not unique to western ghats only it is found in a uh, similar forests are found in satpura also so i hope you understand the indian vegetation very well this are about western ghats so you could have written all the facts and all the concepts have been understood by you so that is all for today please do like it if you like the video please do subscribe and please do share it takes a lot of hard work to make such videos for you on regular basis regular basis paise videos ko banane mein kafi hard work lagta hai aur agar aap like karte ho share karte ho subscribe karte ho to kafi motivation milta hai hame we get motivated to make more such videos for you regularly so that is all for today have a nice day thank you